Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site for premium content, Dwyer70905 substack.com. Today is Friday, September 17th, 2021. Let's talk boxing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now we'll argue about this, and I know many of you disagree with me on this, but we'll argue about this till the cows come home. Whether or not you can figure out how good a fighter is by looking at the quality of his past opponents. Now I'll agree, Shakur Stevenson has been protected. Right? He's not a guy who they've thrown to the wolves. He fights guys who he is the heavy favorite. I'll agree that Herring has more meaningful on-the-record experience. But what I believe is first, that a lot of managers have made a decision not to risk their fighters' professional records. But privately, behind the scenes, they'll have a Shakur Stevenson hanging around. Guys like a Terrence Crawford. Right? They'll have Shakur Stevenson sparring with very technical, excellent fighters. That's really where the fighter learns to trade. The public fights are safe fights designed to pad the fighter's record until the fighter gets an opportunity to fight a champion who's perfectly suited for his skill set. I like Shakur Stevenson even with the somewhat padded record. I like Shakur Stevenson over champion Jamal Herring. Both guys are southpaws. Herring has an excellent left hook. You saw it and an uppercut. You saw both in his stoppage of Carl Frampton, an orthodox fighter. Right? But understand, Frampton makes some foolish mistakes in that fight. Herring who has the longer reach, who's a taller man than Shakur Stevenson, and who has the longer reach by four inches than Shakur Stevenson, Herring doesn't have ring coverage. I believe that's the secret in this fight. That's the secret sauce. Herring doesn't have ring coverage. He needs for you to get close to him, for him to hit you, with his Sunday punch, that left hand. If you're outside with timing, if you could pepper him with a jab, if you could stay on the outskirts of the pocket, and if you could force him to reach for you, you're gonna win the rounds on the judges' scorecards Right? Herring also doesn't move that well. You're going to win the rounds on the judges' scorecards, and you're going to diminish his power. In other words, he's great. He's strong if you're close to him. The more you move away, the more his power dissipates. So you need a disciplined fighter who doesn't need to hurt Herring, only needs to outbox him. And I believe that's Shakur Stevenson. Understand, Stevenson's last opponent. Stevenson stays outside most of the fight. Stevenson likes space. Right? The kind of guy who would give Stevenson problems is a guy who could move, who's prepared to walk through Stevenson's power shots. Stevenson only has eight KOs, folks who's prepared to walk through Stevenson's power shots and who's prepared to hunt him down. Right? That's the kind of guy you need foot speed to do it. That's the kind of guy who would give Stevenson problems. But a guy like this, a guy who 
wants you to come to him wants you to fall asleep at the wheel so he could lean in and hit you with an uppercut like he did in the Carl Frampton fight right a guy like this is tailor-made for Stevenson understand the press made a mistake with Stevenson at first we thought he was a Ray Leonard type guy right a guy who was gonna come in Stevenson has great hand speed was gonna come in was gonna show you a lot of hand speed was gonna overwhelm you was gonna wilt you was gonna stop you right look at Ray Leonard's career knockout percentage right understand the Ray Leonard's of the world are few and far between Stevenson doesn't have that level of power what Stevenson has and it's his big secret are highly technical skills and a willingness to outbox you in my opinion that's exactly what he needs to get a wide decision against Jamal Herring I like Stevenson in this fight I'll agree the critics are gonna say hey who has Stevenson fought Buddy McGirt famously gave an interview where he said Stevenson was protected right I understand a lot of people are saying hey Stevenson doesn't take chances you know what he doesn't have to here all he has to do is maintain the distance use his speed and timing to stay outside not get cornered and focus on Herring's left hand I don't believe Herring has enough of a right hand for Stevenson to be concerned about it I believe it's Herring's left hand that he needs to focus on if he stays outside if he stays disciplined if he doesn't get caught up in the personalities in other words whatever Herring says to him whatever the mood in the arena Stevenson has to keep his head just go about his game just stay outside use hand speed use timing work the jab right back away when he needs to reset be conscientious of where he is in the ring you don't want to be in the corner against Herring don't fall asleep at the wheel if you're ahead and I believe Stevenson is highly disciplined if you're ahead don't be a Billy Khan and decide I need to close the show just take the man's title on the scorecards right Stevenson also has a judge friendly game in other words you see the hand speed right sometimes Stevenson likes to yell a bit as he throws punches what that does is it lets the opponent know when he's throwing a punch which is bad but it also lets the judges see when he's throwing a punch you can hear him and right? he goes ha 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 right so you hear him so Stevenson will draw the judges to his hand speed it is exemplary right Stevenson will control the fight from distance Stevenson in my opinion will outbox Herring but I need for you to understand the risk involved Herring is a marine Herring is in his mid 30s Herring is the guy with the better resume Herring is the champion right Herring is gonna be very disciplined military discipline marine discipline if young Stevenson gets too caught up in the moment and loses his way misreads the fight and starts walking into traps like Frampton did he could get stopped like Frampton did the bet I like is Stevenson to win if the odds allow 
we'll hedge the play with herring by stoppage. If they don't, we'll fly naked and just take Stevenson to win. Right? Another possible hedge, but it leaves you exposed early in the fight, is to take Stevenson to win, hedged with the over. Right? I believe this is going to go several rounds. I believe Stevenson, because of his private sparring, right? Just Google Shakur Stevenson sparring. You're going to come across a few videos of Shakur Stevenson in the ring with people like Devin Haney. Because of Stevenson's advanced private sparring with some of the best in the sport, and because of Stevenson's gifts, and the fact that even though he's only 5'7", he has the timing down and the ring coverage down. Stevenson can hurt you from far away. He has the timing and ring coverage down where he's the guy with more power and more presence from distance. I think Stevenson wins the title here. If the odds allow, throw a little on Herring by stoppage or on the over. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I know there's another side of the argument. Understand, we're picking against the champion. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.